Now, in a major development, India has extended the lockdown for a period of two weeks with effects from May 4th. Different districts in the country have been divided uh, to red, green and orange zones on the basis of risk assessment. We now take a look at the detailed directions given by the government on how these new phase of lockdown will be enforced. So one by one, we'll look at slides in which we'll try and understand how this lockdown has been enforced. We'll begin with the slides now. Identification of the zones is important. Green zones are districts with zero confirmed cases till date or no confirmed cases in the last 21 days. So of the three green zones, are that's how you identify the green zones. Moving on to the next slide. These are directives given by the government. Identification of zones. How do we identify red zones or hotspot districts? They're defined by Ministry of Health by taking into account the total number of active cases doubling rate of confirmed cases and the extent of testing and surveillance feedback. That's how we identify the red zones as categorized by the government. Coming to the third category, orange zones. Districts that are neither defined as the green or red zones that we discussed earlier come in the category of orange zones. Moving on, we are talking about different directives given the phase three of the lockdown in India. Districts with one or more municipal corporations to have Two zones. Area outside of municipal corporations can be of a lower zone. If the district is red and outside area has no new confirmed case, it will be orange zone. Now, if the district is orange and the outside area has no confirmed case, it will be green zone. Now, these are special uh, categorization uh, with districts of municipalities. What are the measures for well-being and safety of persons? Now, these are to be identified in red and orange zones. No movement of persons is allowed other than medical emergencies and supply of essential goods and services. Besides, Arogya Setu app is compulsory for all residents of containment zones. So if you're in containment zones, downloading and using Arogya Setu app would be crucial. Activities that are prohibited throughout the country, irrespective of which zones, red, orange or green. All domestic and international air travel of passengers except for medical, security permitted or as permitted by Ministry of Home Affairs. All passenger movement by trains except for security purposes or for purposes as permitted by MHA. Also metro rail services, these are activities prohibited throughout the country irrespective of which zone you belong to. Activities prohibited throughout the country, again irrespective of the zone. We continue interstate buses for public transport or as permitted by uh, Ministry of Home Affairs, interstate movement of individuals except for medical reasons or as permitted by MHA. Also, all schools, colleges, educational training institutions, coaching institutions are all going to be shut. These are activities prohibited throughout the country in the new phase of the lockdown. Activities prohibited throughout the country, we continue with the list. All cinema halls, shopping malls, gymnasiums, sports complexes, swimming pools, entertainment parks, theatres, bars and auditorium, assembly halls and similar places. All social, political, sports, entertainment, academic, cultural or religious functions or other gatherings. These are all prohibited throughout the country irrespective of the zone. We'll continue uh, with the list hospitality services other than those for housing health, police, government officials, healthcare workers, stranded persons, including tourists, and those for quarantine facilities. All religious places, places of worship, these places will be shut. These are activities prohibited throughout the country. Now we're looking at measures for well-being and uh, for safety of persons. Movement of individuals for all non-essential activities strictly prohibited between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. from evening to the morning. Uh, in this time period. This is for directions all across the country. Persons above 65 years of age, persons with comorbidities, pregnant women, children below 10 years are all going to stay at home except for essential requirements and health purposes. OPDs and medical clinics have been permitted outside of containment zones with the required social distancing norms and other precautions. We're looking at different directives given by the government for the phase three of lockdown. We're looking at red zones now. What are the activities prohibited? And these are activities outside of containment zones. Those are the areas we're talking about. Activities prohibited across the country will be prohibited in red zones. That's natural. Following all also uh, prohibited are cycle and auto rickshaws, taxis and cab aggregators, 
intra-district and inter-district plying of buses, barber shops, spas and saloons have also been prohibited in red zones. In red zones, activities allowed but with restrictions. But again, these are areas outside of containment zones. Movement of individuals and vehicles only for permitted activities uh, and their vehicular restrictions are going to be there. Four wheelers to have maximum two passengers besides the driver. For two wheelers, pillion rider not allowed. We are talking about activities allowed with restrictions in the red zones. So those were the ones. We are now looking at activities allowed with restrictions. We continue with the list. Industrial establishment in urban areas and the restrictions. Only special economic zones, EOUs, industrial estates, townships with access control, manufacturing units only of essential goods including drugs, pharmaceuticals, medical devices, their raw material and intermediaries, production units requiring continuous process and their supply, red zones, activities allowed with restrictions is what we're talking about in this slide. Moving on. Red zones, activities allowed with restrictions, but remember we're talking about areas outside of containment zones industrial establishment in urban areas, in that manufacturing of IT hardware, jute industry with staggered shifts and social distancing, manufacturing units of packaging uh, material, these will be allowed. All industrial activity in rural areas have been uh, allowed. We're talking about red zones, activities that have been permitted. We continue with that list, red zones, activities that have been allowed with restrictions. In the category of construction activities in urban areas, only in situ constructions uh, are allowed. Construction of renewable energy projects are allowed. All construction activity permitted in rural areas. All malls, market complexes and markets to remain closed in municipal corporations and municipalities. But other than shops that are selling essential goods. Moving on, red zones activities that have been allowed with restrictions. All standalone shops, neighborhood in the shops that we have in our colonies. Shops in residential complexes, they are to remain open in urban areas, all shops in rural areas other than malls to remain open, e-commerce activity only in essential commodities and goods have been allowed. Private offices with up to 33% strength is allowed, rest to work from home, all government offices with 100% strength from levels of deputy secretary and above remaining to attend up to 33%. Defense and security services, health and family welfare, police, Home guards, fire and emergency services and such other important services to function without any restrictions. In red zones, we are talking about activities allowed and the list includes all activities other than specifically prohibited or permitted with restrictions are permitted without any restrictions. However, states and union territories may permit lesser activities based on their own assessment and priorities. Now let's talk about, from red, let's talk about orange zones, activities that have been prohibited and allowed with restrictions. Again, we're talking about areas outside of containment zone. Inter-district and intra-district plying of buses is prohibited. Activities permitted with restrictions include taxis and, taxis and cab aggregators with one driver and two passengers, inter-district movement of individuals and vehicles only for permitted vehicles, Four-wheeler vehicles with maximum two passengers and one driver is allowed. And activities allowed in orange zone include all activities other than specifically prohibited or permitted with restrictions are permitted without any restrictions. Again, states and union territories may permit less activities based on their own assessment and priorities. Let's now look at the green zone and the activities that are allowed in the green zone. In the green zone, all activities are permitted except the limited number of activities that are prohibited throughout the country irrespective of the zone. We discussed that in the earlier slides. However, buses can operate with up to 50% seating capacity and bus depots can operate with up to 50% cap uh, capacities. These are activities allowed in the green zones. Now let's talk about the national directives for public places. What kind of conduct are people expected to follow? Wearing of uh, face cover is compulsory. Social distancing that is key to tackling COVID-19 is a must. Maintain a distance of about six feet. Again, uh, directives for public places. Gathering of more than five people not allowed in public places. Spitting in public places is a punishable offense. National directives for public places is what we're talking about. Marriage-related gatherings shall ensure social distancing. Guests not more than 50 will be allowed. Funeral last rites to ensure social distancing as well. Not more than 20 people will be allowed. 
National Directives for Workplaces is what we're talking about now. Thermal scanning, hand wash, sanitizer, these facilities must be there at workplaces. Adequate gap uh, between shifts, staggering lunch break uh, should be uh, ensured. Frequent sanitization of the entire workplace must take place. National Directives for Workplaces ensure social distancing and company transport uh, for movement. Six feet, remember, is a social distancing and face cover is mandatory. National Directives for Workplaces continue. Hospital clinics authorized to treat COVID-19 patients should be identified at nearby location. Lists should be available at workplace at all times. Besides, uh, large physical meetings at workplaces must be avoided. Intensive communication, training on good hygiene and practices is very crucial, must take place at workplaces. Moving on, we're talking about different uh, directives. The very crucial Arogya Setu mobile app is mandatory for all employees. Heads of offices must ensure compliance to it. We're looking at uh, different uh, directives given by the government uh, with reference to the third phase of the lockdown that has been imposed uh, by government of India across the country. And as we discuss, there are going to be three zones, uh, red, green and orange. We discussed about the different activities permitted.